juicy fruit. How is the fruitfulness of God's love and peace growing and becoming available through you? Happy Monday, friends. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm really into fruit and bananas. Uh, bananas are amazing. I always encourage folks that when you're in a crisis, a real crisis, or grieving, or hurting, um, yes, ice cream is a good go-to, but even better are bananas with potassium and vitamins and sugar. It's good stuff. Today, I want to encourage you to pray that your life is fruitful for God's mission of love and to pray for those you know that they are fruitful. In Colossians, in our schedule of readings from the Bible, today in the New Testament in the letter section, we're reading uh, from Colossians chapter one. And in there, Paul says, all over the world, this gospel is bearing fruit and growing just as it has been doing so among you since the day you heard it and understood God's grace in all its truth. Later on in that chapter, again, he says, we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work. Many people, especially starting a Monday, think about, am I happy? Am I fulfilled? Am I getting out of life what I want? And that's a tough way to grow an orchard. Focus on the people God's given you in your neighborhood, in your community, those people you see maybe every day or several times a week, write out their names, list them, and make a habit even every day of praying for them, investing in them, caring for them. Become fruitful for the people God has given you. That's the prayer. That's our calling. It's not about your personal happiness as it is bearing fruit in your life, in your community, where people need vitamins, nutrients, energy, support, friendship. Pray for your leaders. I'm mindful today of a dear friend, Pastor Jim Toole, who was promoted to glory this weekend. And he was just an entrepreneurial model to me of a Christian leader who regularly thought outside the box. And I'm excited to say that his healing has come and his ministries are continuing. The ideas he had, the ideas he personally shared with me are still taking root, still blessing our city in so many ways. I want to be fruitful like that. I want you to be fruitful. Your life rooted in Jesus Christ, centered in prayer, committed to caring for those around you, will bear fruit for the glory of God and for the healing of hearts. Happy Monday. Juicy fruit it up. <laughs>